Okay, so I've been in two past relationships before, both ended horribly, and you might take this as an indication that I am terrible in relationships, however, because of my huge ego, I kind of don't like to accept that. Even though this is going to be a little, not a little, really controversial, in this video I'm going to explain the reasons why I am single and why dating when you are in your late teens and uh, early 20s is kind of a waste of time. Fuck, this is going to be the reddest pill YouTube video I've ever made on YouTube so far. <laughs> so there are two terms that I'm going to be using in this video a lot, and those are SMP and SMV. SMP means sexual marketplace and SMV means sexual market value. Sexual marketplace SMP basically is the dating market, online, offline, whatever. And SMV is the value that every single person has in that dating market. I generally like to call this from 0 to 10, so you can measure it from like, okay, I'm a 3.7, I'm a 4.8, like whatever that is. We're gonna talk about all that. So essentially, every single person has an SMV, which is their value in the SMP, which is the dating market itself. However, obviously, I'm just gonna talk about from a male's perspective, because that's kind of like what I know. <laughs> As a man, there are four main components that build up your SMV, and those are looks, money, status, and game. Looks is basically everything when it comes to you. Your face, your hair, whether you are in shape or not, your clothes, basically everything when it comes to your looks. Money, that's kind of obvious, and status is in, like, in this day and age, status is literally everything. Where you study, where you live, your friends, what you do for a living, or the way you carry yourself, literally everything's a status. And one of the most important things in status is basically your social media presence. And your game is your confidence, the way you carry yourself, and the way you act. You can calculate your personal SMV, your personal sexual market value through rating yourself from 0 to 10 in every single one of those categories and getting the average. Last Sunday, I made myself an ass cup of coffee and sat down on this place, not on this place, on my uh, desk, to calculate my personal SMP. And after two, literally two hours of calculations, calculations, I actually came to the conclusion that my SMP, my SMV currently is 3.6 out of 10. And now you were expecting me to say something like, oh, I'm a 7 out of 10, or a maybe higher even that, because you probably rated yourself something like 5 or 6 out of 10. The thing is, it doesn't work like that at all. Like, as you guys know, I personally, literally, even though I'm 18 years old, I literally make my living out of YouTube. I, uh, I do think I currently have a nice uh, successful kind of like social media presence I do think that I'm a really in really good shape especially especially this summer uh, probably gonna put a picture so you guys can see that and I'm not lying so even though I have all those things I still do think that I am at at least a maximum like 3.6 out of 10 so your value right now as a young male is actually incredibly low much much lower than you think however I don't want this to be a discouragement to you what I want you to see is essentially this is something incredible this is amazing because every single one of the things that I just talked about looks, money, status, and game. All of those things are things you can make huge improvements at. Do not believe the crazy black pillars who tell you that you cannot change your life, your life is how it is, you cannot change anything. Look what I've done, bitch. So the reason why I am voluntarily single is because of the leverage principle, which means that whatever you can bring to the table, you can request. So in order for me to date my dream girl, I have to be the dream guy of that girl. And the thing is, that takes hard fucking work, and that takes your 100 100% of your focus and dedication. And one of the things uh, I kind of experienced over the last couple of years being in some relationships, two relationships, I am not a person who can go all in in self-improvement when I'm in a relationship. I'm definitely not a person who can go, who can keep his 100% hunger uh, to increase his SMV while being in a relationship. So I'm probably gonna keep myself single at least for the next one and a half years. In those one and a half years, I can probably realistically expect my, from myself that I can go from a 3.6 to a 5.6, which might seem like a huge jump, but from the way that I've been building my body and from the way that my YouTube channel has been performing, uh, I really do think that it is realistic for me to expect that. And the thing is, let me tell you something, a two-point increase is something huge. It is so noticeable, it is impossible to not see, to be honest. That's the way to describe it. So, just getting two points up in one and a half year period, I would say it just takes a different mentality that I probably do not have right now, but I'm working on it and I'm gonna build that. And one and a half years from now is exactly the time that I'm gonna be starting uni, which means that it's gonna be a different environment, different people, and for me personally, it's gonna be a much different country because I live in Istanbul, I live in Turkey, and I'm gonna be studying in Germany, which means that it's gonna, it's just gonna be completely different where I'm gonna be completely outside of my comfort zone with completely new people. So I feel like that might be 
the earliest I can start dating because I want to use the next one and a half years to just go all in in the things that are going to move the needle for me, that are going to increase my SMB with the highest rates. So those are number one, keeping being completely in the gym, making progress in the gym and building the sculpturing, the Greek god body. <laughs> And the second thing is building this YouTube channel to help even more young people and that uh, is gonna in turn of course create me, uh, create myself uh, the money and the status. And the third thing is going to be getting outside of my comfort zone all the time to essentially uh, discover who I am more and become the person that I need to be in the future to increase myself from a 3.6 to a 5.6. And as my man Ice Cold JT says, focus less on the booty and more on your duty, my man. <laughs> So that's basically the reason why I am single currently and I'm to be honest really happy with it because I can see literal change in my life. I can see that I'm growing. I'm not at the place that I was six months ago. You can see that from my YouTube videos. We're gonna make it bruh. Since <laughs> probably the first action you need to take in your life to increase your SMV by four is breaking your phone addiction. So click on this video because I'm gonna teach you exactly why you cannot stop checking your phone out and how you can eliminate that easily.